Imagine that you are working on a music application. Your current feature is the next song, and of course, the previous song. In the beginning, you thought that this was an easy problem, but you realize that the application's user has several orders to select the songs. For example, next in list, random, alphabetically sorted, sorted by length, and so on. For this task, the iterator design pattern is the best. The iterator is a behavioral design pattern that provides a way to access elements of a collection without exposing its underlying representation. It abstracts the traversal process, allowing clients to navigate through elements sequentially without knowing the details of the collection structure. First, we should have an interface that defines the collection of songs and has the create walker method. Let's call it just songs. Then, let's create the walker interface with has next and next methods. After that, let's create the concrete walkers, classes that are implementing the walker, for example, random order walker, simple order walker, and sorted by name order walker. Each walker knows their specific way to iterate over the song collection. Finally, we can create concrete collections of songs by implementing the songs interface and using the desired iterators, the random songs, the simple order songs, and sorted by name order songs. When the user selects their favorite order, you instantiate the appropriate collection, and this collection knows how to walk over songs the user has. There are four actors in this pattern. The first one, iterator, is an interface that defines the methods for traversing a collection, including operations like next and has next. Concrete iterator is a class that implements the iterator interface and provides the actual traversal logic for a specific collection. Then, we have the collection, an interface that defines methods for creating an iterator. And lastly, concrete collection is a class that implements the collection interface, providing the actual collection of elements and creating an appropriate iterator. Starting with the benefits, the iterator introduces a notable level of decoupling, effectively separating the traversal logic from the collection and ensuring a clean division of responsibilities. This separation enhances the maintainability and scalability of the code, as changes in the traversal logic or the collection structure do not affect each other. Additionally, the iterator pattern provides a uniform interface, ensuring a consistent and straightforward way to access elements across different collections. This uniformity significantly simplifies the client code, making it easier to manage and understand. Another advantage lies in the pattern's ability to handle iterating over complex data structures. This ensures that the complexities involved do not burden the client, allowing them to concentrate solely on their tasks. Furthermore, the pattern supports the implementation of multiple iterators on the same collection, each providing a unique perspective of traversal. This feature is handy when different views or traversals of the data are required. On the other hand, the design pattern is not without its disadvantages. One of the main drawbacks is its limited functionality. The iterator provides just a basic set of traversal methods. This limitation is insufficient to cover all potential use cases that may arise. Additionally, there is the issue of code overhead. The need to implement custom iterators and aggregators can lead to additional complexity in the code. This factor becomes especially visible in simple scenarios where such complexity may not be justified. That's all about the iterator design pattern. See you in the next video.